No filters, no pumps, no added chemicals. Up next, the earth-friendly technology behind a water purification system known as the lily pad. In tonight's Green Living, a Beaverton startup has some new ideas to keep our water clean using sunlight. And local students are testing it out. Here's K2's Ian Parker. When it rains, stormwater carries some nasty stuff off the road and into waterways. Suddenly you get all of the petrochemicals and pesticides and, and road debris and other things that all get flushed into lakes and rivers at the same time. Purolytics in Beaverton has a new product in the pilot stage. The lily pad uses nanotechnology to get rid of all those toxins that wind up in the water. It sounds complicated, but all you need is some special mesh and a little sunshine. And when the sunlight hits this mesh, it causes uh, the contaminants to be drawn to the surface and the chemicals are literally broken apart. No filters, no pumps, and no added chemicals. Purolytics already makes a product using the same idea, a solar bag, a personal purifier that outdoor enthusiasts take hiking or camping. We've actually shipped these into 50 countries and they're being used in the developing world for drinking water solutions. Students at Oregon State University are testing out the lily pad to see how well it gets rid of all kinds of contaminants. And ODOT is watching closely. They say stormwater runoff is a huge concern and want to know if the lily pads could help protect marine animals. But before we see nanotechnology in our streams, there is one more big question that needs to be answered. Just how much would it cost the taxpayer? Ian Parker, K2 News.